how's it going guys? It's me, EC from ECTV, apologizing once again for the lack of uploads, which were primarily due to me focusing on high school. Speaking of high school, the French teacher gave me this assignment where we basically have to do a research project on a French-speaking country and then present it to the class. While many of my classmates decided to just stick to doing a slideshow presentation, I decided to be unique and go with a YouTube video instead. And now, here I am to provide you, the viewer, with some information on Haiti. So without further suspense, let the video commence. So before we begin, a quick spoiler ahead. Haiti in English is Haiti. I know, crazy right? But what about in French? In French is pronounced Haiti, and it is spelled as displayed on the screen. Haiti's capital is Port-au-Prince, which is shown on the image. The Haitian flag consists of a blue upper half and a red lower half, with a coat of arms placed in the middle, as shown on screen. A well-known Haitian French speaker is Jean-Jacques Dessalines, a former slave who lived in the 1800s who helped overthrow the French government that was dominant at the time, making Haiti an independent country. And while he served as not only a ruler who helped to make Haiti's economy better and a symbol of freedom for his country, he wasn't all that good. If making it so that the white inhabitants couldn't own private property wasn't bad enough, he also ordered a genocide against the white Haitians, leading to thousands of lives cut short. In 1806, he finally got a taste of his own medicine when he was murdered in an ambush. Another well-known Haitian French speaker is the current Haitian president, Jovenel Moyes, who was elected as currently as 2016. The 49-year-old is expected to serve a five-year term, during which he wants to show the world that Haiti can sustain itself, and he believes he can change the country for the better using agriculture. A tourist attraction in Haiti is the Sanssouci Palace that is located in Milno, which is on the northern coast of Haiti. Construction started in 1810 and it took until 1813 to finish. It is noted for housing King Henry Christophe I, who had fought alongside George Washington in the United States' War for Independence, and helped lead the Haitian Revolution alongside the aforementioned Jean-Jacques Dessalines. Following an earthquake in 1842 that caused severe damage to the building, it has been in abandoned ruins to this day. Despite not having many visitors due to political instability in the area, it is still a relatively safe place to visit. It has even become a welcome site for tour guides to look to be hired. Another neat tourist attraction is only a taxi's drive away. This of course being the Citadel La Ferrière, which is on the summit of Mount Bonnet à l'Evêque. Built shortly after Haiti gained its independence, locals often call it the Eighth Wonder of the World. Its purpose was not only to defend the country, but also to demonstrate its power. Despite being made for military purposes, it never saw service, and so the 365 cannons and countless cannonballs lay dormant inside to this day, almost completely unchanged from when it was last occupied. It was designed so that it would take up a different shape depending on the angle it was viewed from, which is actually quite interesting. Two Haitian delicacies include griot, which is fried pork that is typically served with vegetables. In his article Haitian Food from Poisson de Picles, Daniel Noel says that, quote, For meat eaters, griot is an absolute must-try traditional dish of Haiti. Another popular Haitian dish is poulet en noir, which is a dish that is typically served in northern Haiti. It is chicken that is covered in a tomato-based sauce and served with nuts, usually cashews. Anyone packing up their bags to try this food, however, should first know that the average flight time, according to TravelMath.com, is about three and a half hours from New York City. The climate of Haiti, as many of you might have guessed beforehand, is hot and humid, with the humidity at its highest in the spring months. The average rainfall in Haiti is 140 to 200 centimeters of rain per year, with the southern portions of the country getting more rain than the other portions. Temperatures in Haiti are quite high, ranging from about 15 to 25 degrees Celsius in the winter to 25 to 35 degrees Celsius in the summer. Numerous outdoor activities that are available in Haiti include hiking, surfing, scuba diving, volleyball, and camping. The average population density of Haiti as of 2016 is about 394 people per square kilometer. The average population in general of Haiti as of 2016 is about 10.8 million. A popular genre of music in Haiti is Haitian hip-hop, also known as rap creole, that began in the early 1980s as a derivative of United States' hip-hop. 
Haitian hip hop helps some of the impoverished Haitian population cope with things such as drug abuse, gang violence, and living in the slums. It does this by giving impoverished listeners something to relate to, creating the notion in their mind that they are not alone, and that other people have faced the same challenges as them, which is obviously true. Another popular genre of music in Haiti is mini jazz. The story of mini jazz begins in 1915 when the United States stationed troops in Haiti to protect them from un American values. The resulting cultural backlash ensured that regular jazz became popular in Haiti. In the 1960s, musicians mixed regular jazz with compa, which is another genre of popular Haitian music. This resulted in the birth of mini jazz, which has remained popular ever since. Haiti has two dominant religions, Roman Catholicism, which is a sect of Christianity, and Voodoo, which originated from Africa. Well guys, it seems as if I have met all of the requirements of the project, and then some. If you learned something about Haiti, then don't forget to leave a like to let others know. And if you want to see more of my content, then subscribe and click the notification button that's next to the subscribe button. Also, if you know something about Haiti that wasn't mentioned in this video and you want to share it, then don't be afraid to tell everyone down in the comment section. And as always guys, I wish you all the best, and until next time, I'm EC from ECTV, out. And peace.